This video is about how to configure the Simple Sync module on two different sites so that they can communicate uh, configuration information, copy configuration information from one site to the other. Here I have my test site or staging site, uh, this address, test Simple Sync, and I also have a live site, live Simple Sync, at a different address. More or less uh, identical content between the two at the moment. And, bo and both of them have Simple Sync already installed but not configured. So let's run through the initial configuration here on the test site uh, under on the menu under configuration system Simple Sync. And uh, it's all empty at the moment because the, uh, this is a fresh installation. The first thing I'm going to do uh, down here is generate a key pair for, for, this, for this site, hit this Generate New Keys link. That's done, the key is shown here, and uh, press the save button, hit the Save button. Now over on the live site, do exactly the same thing. Go into Simple Sync Configuration, down on Local Site, hit the Generate New Keys link and save. Back to the staging site, the test site again. Uh, I need to add, in peer sites, I need to add the other site. That's to say I need to add the live site and configure it here. So down here in peer sites, I'm going to name the other site. I can use any name I want, but I'll call it just live like that. And at that point, we get a, se a separate tab, a new tab down here, where I can set the configuration for uh, the live site from the perspective of this, uh, this site, the, the staging site. So click on that tab. And the first bit of information I need is the, is the URL for the live site. Well, that's this part up here. So I'll copy that and paste it into that field. Um, and I'm going to choose this option, uh, fetch public key from site. What that's going to do is uh, ask the other site, the live site, what its public key is. Just saves me from having to copy and paste it in here, but I could, uh, I could also copy and paste it into here. So select fetch public key from site, and it, it happens uh, when I press the save button. I get a, a little note up here, a warning that it's uh, fetched a new public key for, for the live site. And in fact, if I come back down to the live tab and turn that off, you can see that that information has now been filled in. Now I'm going to do exactly the same over on the live site. I need to define the test site or the staging site. Let's call it staging, stage. And now down here, I've got a new tab. The URL now that I want is the URL for the staging site, which is that one. Let's copy that, put it there. And I'm going to do the same thing, select fetch public key from site, press save. And again, noted up here that it's uh, updated the, the public key for the staging site. Now, the next steps, I want to be able to copy configuration information from the staging site to the live site. I'm assuming a situation where we've done, we've set up something new on the staging site, we've tested it, it involves some configuration changes, um, and we want to duplicate those onto the live site. So back down here in the stage site configuration, we're on the live site configuring the staging site. I'm going to say the local so the local site is live. I'm going to say that the local site may sync from the remote site. Just leave that one blank for the moment. The local site may sync from the remote site and hit save. Then go over to the staging site and do the inverse of that. So on the live site configuration tab, I'm going to say that the remote site, that's the live site, may sync from, from the local site, so from the testing site. So I want to say that the live site can sync from the staging site and save that. 
And for now, I'm going to leave these options at the top, uh, default, that is the checked, uh, enable all forms and automatically add. Uh, enabling all forms is the most important one. That means that SimpleSync has access uh, to all forms uh, in the system. And all forms will be uh, allowed to be used for, synchron for synchronizing to anybody who has uh, admin access or suitable, uh, suitable permission. So now let's, uh, let's see if it works. Um, as an example, let's look at the uh, modules list on, on the staging site. So I'm going to assume a situation where we've actually disabled some modules here, some modules that we don't actually need, um, but they're still enabled on the live site. And what I want to do is uh, disable them on the live site as well because we don't need them there either. Now, of course, I could have made notes about which modules I disabled or I could uh, visually check down here to see which modules I've got enabled and disabled and there are other ways that, that I could find out uh, which modules I've got here compared to the module list on, on the live site. Um, but if I look at the module page now on the live site because of how we've set Sim Simple Sync up, I have this link, um, Simple Sync and that link there, sync from stage. I click that and I get some information here. So simple sync is working. Um, it's, uh, it's communicated with the, with the staging site, checked its uh, configuration for this page, the modules page, and worked out that um, the aggregator module is disabled there, as is the color module, comment, etc. All these modules over here are, are in fact disabled. And I want to do exactly the same on the live site, disable those modules. Well, all I have to do is click Save. And now that it's done, if I, if I open up the single sync, Simple Sync uh, information again, it tells me that it's uh, in sync. So Simple Sync is working. Basic configuration, but working. In a, in a more advanced configuration, go back here to the configuration page. Uh, in a more advanced configuration, I might have uh, multiple sites. I can add uh, further sites here. Um, typically, I might have my local development ship machine in there as well, so I could configure access for that and, and uh, various other sites if I wanted to. Um, I can also control which specific forms are allowed to be used and, uh, and various other things on here, but I'm not going to cover that today. That was the, uh, the quick video on how to configure the SimpleSync module. That's the end of the video.